Hey hippies, welcome, welcome, welcome back. If you're new here, it's your girl Courtney Chavante and I'm back with another awesome, super special tutorial. And this one's going to be for my luxury beaded resin roach clips. These are super awesome because it combines the best of both worlds. Now before we get started, make sure you do hit that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell so that way you don't miss anything that I do put out for you guys moving forward. So this right here is the mold that we are going to be starting with this is a custom mold from my shop which you can find on my etsy store linked below for you i am going to be starting out by using my paintbrush just to brush on this silver holographic pigment into this unicorn cavity now in this unicorn cavity i am going to be um using the silver color for the unicorn um, horn and also the cloud that the unicorn is standing on so um, if you haven't seen the actual finished piece yet you know feel free to for i mean rewind back to the um, first part of the video or click the link below and you can see um some photos and everything up close so that way you guys can see the etchings of these designs a little bit better because they're just super cute like i am so obsessed I'm using that same paintbrush and I'm just going to brush on a pink hollow powder onto the hair and the tail like the mane and the tail of the unicorn and it's just going to give it some pink hair and make it look really pretty and really dainty and everything and I'm just going for a really cool funky girly look with these like this is a really girly set um, if you guys are interested in some more um, roach clip palettes then definitely make sure you leave some ideas for me below you know i'm always open to suggestions and everything so make sure you leave a comment because i'm always reading them all right but what i'm doing here is i'm just going to continue filling in where i want this um this is going to be the only cavity that i am adding the holographic powders to um the pigment powders um which i do have linked before low for you as well i got those from amazon um, but the other ones I'm going to be using some different methods just so I can show you guys like you know just some different things that you guys can do with these um, palettes and everything. So just go ahead continue getting everything where you want it. Take a q-tip with some alcohol to clean up any extra dust that might have flew over somewhere. And then we're just going to go ahead and move on right to our next step. Yeah. With our next step, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be starting with some resin. Um, I believe I began with, let me see, how much did I start out with here? Um, I start with 15 milliliters um, into the unicorn one. I think I did about 40 to 45 milliliters altogether and everything, but I did have a little bit left over, so just keep that in mind. But into this unicorn one, I am just mixing up some black resin and everything into those 15 milliliters. I'm using black mica powder. I'm also using this black alcohol ink. Just getting that mixed up very, very well because you don't want any lumps or bumps or anything like that. I'm just going to go ahead and pour that right into the unicorn cavity and everything. Thing. now that 15 milliliters should hold and it shouldn't um go over or anything but in the event that it does um it's fine these molds are meant to you know um leak a bit and everything due to the nature of it you know it's a roach clip and everything and it has the hole on the side of course the resin is going to fall off the side so just keep that in mind all right, so I'm going to go ahead and mix up 15 milliliters of resin along with about two spoonfuls of glitter for this little heart cavity. And I'm just going to, oh wait, I'm sorry. <laughs> that's not for the heart cavity. This is for the um, little cavity that says, I don't care, I'm pretty. Yeah, so you're just gonna go ahead and pour that in there and you just want to move it around a bit just to make sure that um, there aren't any like holes or gaps or anything. You wanna make sure you have a nice even layer. So after I finish that, I'm of course wiping off my little stir stick and then I am taking some clear resin and adding about 10 milliliters or so into the heart um, cavity. From here, I'm going to take this butterfly that I have along with these pink and purple larkspur flowers that I have. Um, all these items are available in my garden a mystery box. So make sure you check that out if you want some stuff to mix up your resin pieces with. Also available, like look, my Etsy store has turned into a one-stop shop for you guys 
guys i have everything but the resin okay so just go ahead with some glitter from my glitter mix this is um fantasy ride which is a purplish color i'm just sprinkling that over the um heart and everything um where the flowers are just to make sure that it adds a little bit more dimension and everything and i'm also using a toothpick to get in those spaces make sure no bubbles form and then we're just going to let that cure hippies All right, just a heads up if you guys hear any popping in the background it's new year's eve so that's what's going on there's fireworks and everything but what we're going to be doing on this step is we're just going to be adding beads onto these wired um alligator clips um these are the long ones these are six inches you can get them shorter so you do not have to make yours as long as i am making them um but these are also some beads that i have and everything that i'm going to be um using so i'm starting by adding a bit of e6000 to the bottom of the wire where that first bead is going to sit just because um as you place the beads it does push the glue down so there's no point in putting glue on to the entire wire just add it on bead by bead don't be lazy um so yeah just go ahead and put the e6000 glue on place your beads and everything get them in the pattern that you want i have mine pre-arranged so that way i'm not like kind of looking around and guessing on camera and whatnot but you know take your time and whatnot just find something that coordinates get them on there and then you're just going to let it dry completely all right hippies so once that has had a chance to dry you're going to go ahead and prep 60 milliliters of resin um just go ahead and put that off to the side and what you see me do is i have my roach clips i have them inside the little slots and everything so that's why the little things are on the edge is so that these can hang off the side now i have some doming blocks but unfortunately the maker of these doming blocks um is not supporting you know this little business that i got going on over here so they will not be linked so don't bother asking but you can go ahead and find like you know just like a little cup or something just anything that you can flip upside down and stick up under there just to keep it level and what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and mix up about 20 milliliters of resin with some glitter and i poured that over the um, unicorn layer and it covers the stick as well and you're just going to you know just kind of let that sit in there i have another one that i'm going to be doing um this one's going to be 20 milliliters of the black resin um and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add in the black mica powder, black alcohol ink. Then um, I went ahead and tossed in the remaining of the resin as well. Because I decided I'm going to just make both of these a black background. But I'm going to do the, a little bit different. So in the I don't care I'm pretty cavity. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to pour it in as is and everything. Making sure that I don't leave any spaces. There are no bubbles. Pour a nice even layer. And like I said earlier it's okay if it leaks out a little bit so just make sure on a surface where you don't mind that resin leaking because it is going to do it with the remaining resin that i have left over i'm taking another spoonful of that fantasy rye glitter mix that's available on my etsy shop and i'm going to just go ahead and stir that in there and then i'm going to pour this into the heart cavity right over that butterfly and those flowers creating a nice even layer and making sure that you know it's bubble free of course and then we're just going to let this cure after your resin is done curing what you're going to do is you're just going to whip up some more resin um i was working on something else so i'm just using like a 
the cup before I go ahead over to that next project which you guys will be seeing soon actually but I'm just using my mixing stick and I'm just kind of doing a nice doming layer over the back because you know like I said it is going to leak out I already cleaned up the mess a bit but um it is going to leak out of the edges and everything so of course you are going to lose some resin this is going to replace the resin that is missing and it's also going to create a nice even coat over the back and everything it also gives you a chance to fill in any gaps that may have had a chance to you know kind of come forth and whatnot um just go ahead and go over with that mixing stick um you don't want to add too much because you don't want it to go over onto the mold just because it makes cleanup easier it'll peel right off but you're gonna have to get in there with a sanding block and, or something and these little crevices are really tiny on here so you know just be mindful of that um after you get this layer on go ahead and spray it with some alcohol so you can pop any bubbles that may come to the surface and then you're just going to let that cure as well hippies excuse that happy new year's all right so these are nice and cured what you're going to do is just go ahead and wiggle these out from your mold and pop them right on out they are looking so beautiful as I'm pulling them out and everything. I'm really loving the turnout. These etchings look beautiful. Um, as you're pulling it out, make sure you pull off any excess pieces that do form on the side. And be careful of your fingers because they can cut the sides of your fingers if you're not careful. So once you get them popped out, you know, just go ahead and make sure that, you know, you got them all cleaned up. And then once you got them cleaned up, we can go ahead and move on to this step so on this step we're going to just be adding some white acrylic paint on with a paintbrush now i'm sorry about the quality of this video here it's a little off just due to the fact that um i was doing all this stuff and everything um like the lighting is just a little off in this area that, that's just what's going on but at this point what you're just going to do is you're going to brush the white acrylic paint all over the surface of the resin where the etchings are you want to make sure that it's completely covered of course so that way you know there are no holes or anything and you don't want any um transparent areas or anything like that so make sure it's a nice thick layer and you're just going to go through and do the same thing with all these clips. Take your time. Make sure you really get it in there. And then um, once you finish painting this onto the surfaces and everything, you're just going to go ahead and let this um, completely dry. All right, so I've confirmed that these are dry. These, this is like an old undershirt of my son's. Like it's so small and old and dirty. So I decided to use it as a cleaning rag for my videos. So what I'm doing is I just damped it just a little bit. It's not even really enough to get my hands wet. And then I sprayed some alcohol onto the surface of these and then um, onto the rag as well. And then I'm just going to wipe it. It comes off super easily and you don't have to rub super hard. So you don't have to worry about the paint coming out of your etchings or anything like that so it's super simple super easy to use and I just totally love it like I really do it makes it a whole lot easier um so yeah you're just going to go ahead and go through and do this with each individual piece make sure that you know you clean up any streaks or anything like that move the rag around so you can make sure you're not just pushing that those white acrylic paint pieces all around or anything and it's not getting all cloudy really clean it up because you're going to be coming through doing a doming layer on the very next step 
all right so now we're at that very next step that i was telling you guys about so what you're gonna do is just go ahead and mix up a little bit of resin like i did said earlier um i'm working on another project as well so i'm just using a little bit of the resin off the top um but i wouldn't make any more than 20 milliliters for this even that's going to be too much but i don't know how you're gonna mix up 10 milliliters i haven't seen a cup that small enough but if you have one go for it um but what you're gonna do is just go ahead and do a doming layer over the tops of these um be careful and get in here with a toothpick as well to you know really push it around and push it into these etchings I'm not gonna lie to you guys you are going to have to babysit this a bit because the thing is with etchings it can hold air bubbles so if you are trying to go for a bubble free casting or get as close as you can to it then I do definitely suggest making sure you come back to check every couple minutes or so to see what pops up on the surface and things like that you may have to um <laughs> excuse me i'm stuttering you may have to keep spraying that alcohol bottle as well um not overkill just like you know a little pump here and there every five to ten minutes or so just to see what's going on there and um yeah just get in there really good make sure you make sure the doming layer is bubble free because like i said this is the very last layer and then you're just going to let this cure all right hippie so while that is going on what we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding on our glue on bales these are super easy to add on and these roach clips themselves they do not actually have any holes in them for keychains so i want you guys to keep that in mind i'm being loud because these firecrackers and everything i just want to make sure y'all hear me because i'm not trying to re-record this and whatnot and um yeah so these things don't have holes in them pre-drilled so you will have to use the glue on bales or drill holes yourself but i do suggest using the glue on bells just because they're a lot easier just use some e6000 and pop them on the back and you're going to let it dry completely and then from there um, we can go ahead and move on to our very next step um, our next step is going to be adding some of these little charms um, these little charms onto our key rings so i have three key rings um i have these from i got these from amazon i'll link these below for you as well um they came with the jump rings that i needed as well to um you know attach them to the bales which you'll see the next step but what i'm doing here is i'm adding charms onto this actual chain part just to add like a little extra flair and everything and make it really cute so i have this really tiny jump ring and i'm going to be adding on this charm and I'm going to be adding it onto the chain as well. And then you're going to close the jump ring using the pliers. It's sped up a bit here, but um, you know, this is a very simple process. I've showed you guys how to use jump rings before in previous videos. So you're just going to use that same method. Now, after everything is dry and everything from the other step that we did, um, we did the bales. What you're going to do is you're just going to take the jump ring that came with the key ring. You're going to place it onto the bottom of the chain and then you're going to attach it onto the bale. Now, I didn't wait until my glue dried like I told y'all to do. So this did pop off on me. So you're going to see me take a little pause break and whatnot. And then we're going to come back to do the rest when they actually dry. And then from there, I'll show you guys the finished product.
all right hippies this right here is our very first one i really love how this charm looks up here this one is just a cute little heart rhinestone i love how this etching looks on here with that glitter these bees complement it so beautifully and everything um like just really look at this you can see how the bottom of this roach clip how it opens you can also use this as a card grabber if you have long nails too this right here is our second option so this is the little heart one this one has a butterfly um, little charm on the key ring I really love these heart etchings on here I love that they don't take away too much of the space and you can still do a lot on here same with the back as well I love how the beads look on this key ring um, I really love these like little tiger stripe beads like yes like they're so beautiful so fetch <laughs> y'all know i love using that here <laughs> all right and this is our third option this is our little unicorn baby this one has a cute little flower charm on the key ring i really love how her little holographic cloud looks and she is just happy sitting up here on cloud nine doing the thing okay like you can't tell her nothing you can see her little beads here i love the little pink and blue beads that complement the unicorn colors and i just i really love how these clips turned out i love how the bees look with the resin i love how you can really use these molds to you know go big or go small or go in the middle like do whatever it is you want to do you can make them big you can make them small like there's just so much different possibilities like, this is how they all three look together which one is your favorite my personal favorite might be the i don't care i'm pretty like i can't lie i really love that one <laughs> but make sure you let me know down in the comments below what you think i really love hearing from you hippies you always have such great things to say i know you guys have really been looking forward to seeing this mold drop and like i said let me know what other designs you're looking forward to seeing because i really want to provide them for you thank you so much for your support i appreciate each and every one of you and i will catch you in the next year hippies Mwah. bye now <laughs>